Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Russ back again with another Madden 19 career mode episode. This is episode number 9 and we are 5-3 and three and still atop the AFC East. The New England Patriots, I don't know what's going on in this sim. It's incredible. But anyway, we are playing the Jets in this episode. Obviously they have rookie QB as well. They have Sam Darnold who is, I don't know, his season was kind of a mixed bag I think. The rookie season, then again he really had nobody on offense. I didn't really realize that until like midway through the season that... Basically, everybody, or it, their offense was in turmoil, basically, the Jets. And Sam Darnold was, like, one of the only bright spots on that offense, except for, like, Robbie Anderson, maybe. But they had a, re a revolving door at running back, basically, with injuries and shit like that. So, I don't know. Sam Darnold, I think he's pretty solid. Uh, I never was really that big of a fan of him, but, you know, he is, what he, he is what he is, and I don't know. I don't like seeing QBs from the Pac-12 bust, so I hope he does decent. Anyway, man, getting into this game and our team now and our rookie QB, we start off 4-4 four for, four for 72 yards. You can't really start off much better than that. Hopefully, we can cap it off with a touchdown, and we do. A beautiful throw to Kenny Stills, a player that I've been waiting uh, to get more involved in the offense because I feel like I haven't used him enough, and he ends up getting a touchdown right there to put us up 7-0 early. So they, uh, the Jets end up running it to the end of the first quarter and into the second with 2 minutes and 40 seconds left, so they give us some time. They end up getting 3 points out of their drive. And I'm looking all the way downfield, and Danny Amendola makes the catch, of course. <sighs> that guy is unbelievable. I don't know how the fuck he makes those catches. It really doesn't make any sense. I just expect him to drop him, so I just quit, like, being so confident and throwing to him. Uh, but Mike Gesicki right there, he almost makes that catch. That would have been sweet. Mike Gesicki has been a welcome target for us as well. He's played really, really well. Kenny Stills, again. I actually had my choice of Amendola or Stills on that play, so that was pretty decent. First and 10, looking, we find Kenyon Drake. That was an easy pass. There was nobody guarding the flats. 8 for 9 to start, 156 and a touchdown in the first half. Cutting back to the middle uh, with Kenyon Drake. He's not able to get anything. Third and inches, we have to throw. And we end up taking a run, an easy running lane for a first down. We almost get to the end zone. Unfortunately, we get tackled from behind. Two-yard line, try to rush it in with Kenyon Drake. And I can't believe it, but Kenyon Drake actually got in the end zone. Who would have thunk it? Uh, the guy never gets rushing touchdowns. Uh, we rarely ever run with our running back, but I said, fuck it, you know what? Let's try to run it. You know, I do try sometimes, and that time he actually took advantage of his opportunity and got himself a touchdown. So, you know, we actually have a touchdown of, on the board that didn't come from us passing or rushing. I don't think we've had another rushing touchdown in this uh, series so far. If we did, it was really early in the, se uh, in the series. But 10 for 11 so far, almost 200 yards, uh, just one yard short. And a touchdown to start this game. 14-3. We're looking really good. And, wow, we almost had a dot. Unfortunately, Danny Amendola, again, I said it last episode, he just cannot get separation sometimes. Uh, usually in man and right there, that's just one of those plays. Third and inches. Tried to get it with Kenyon Drake. And he actually does get it and some. Just keeps on. Whoa, holy shit. Kenyon Drake, you can do things? Holy shit. Four rushes for 20 yards and a touchdown for him. Easily his best game of the season, which is kind of sad, but it is, and it is what it is, man. You know, we just don't run the ball very much with the quarter length that we have set, and also, I don't want to run the ball. You know, I, I want to pass the ball with the guy that I created. I don't like not being able to control the running back, so, I don't know, just him running, I, I don't know, just them doing the stupid cuts that they do, even though Kenny and Drake has a hell of a run in this game, it is just, you know, not very reliable. Anyway. Uh, we end up being selfish, getting ourselves a sneak touchdown, and uh, we're up 21 to three in this game, doing really, really well. Two minutes left here in the fourth in the fourth quarter. We're just trying to run the clock now, uh, just trying to finish this game off. Six rushes for 29 yards, and a touchdown for Kenyon Drake. He's doing really well, man. We're putting together some solid games for the end of this season, considering that um, we're like fourth or fifth in MVP voting, and we're first in Rookie of the Year voting. I believe second is Josh Allen. I looked at his stats, and he just has less interceptions. Basically, everything else we're better in, and we're going to throw interceptions. It's a given. We don't have the greatest receiving core in the world. We have decent receivers, but we don't have the best. But that's okay, considering they have done really well with the opportunities they have been given. But anyway, man, that's going to be the end of this episode. We really didn't have to do much. Our defense played really well, held them to three points. Our offense balled out. Um, we ended up getting a rushing touchdown from Kenny and Drake, which we usually never get. Uh, Kenny Stills did well. We played really well, man. That was probably our best, like, solid game. It was really consistent. Um, we were able to move the ball really well pretty much every single drive, and I didn't really question whether we could score or not. So obviously, we're making strides in the right direction, even though I don't feel like this team is that good. Like, we have times where we cannot move at all, and I feel like it's just because of the players we have. Like I said, the Dolphins, they're not a great team. You know, we kind of have a bunch of average people everywhere. I mean, Danny Amendola's been our number one receiver, for Christ's sake. Obviously, Devontae Parker and Kenny Stills don't 
really play as good as they should. I mean, there's obviously something there. Um, but like I said, Stills have been playing better. Um, Devontae Parker has been solid on the season, and this game was really good. 13 for 16, 91 completion percentage. I mean, my God, man. Kenny and Drake, again, best game of the season. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Be sure to look out for the next one. You guys can check out the rest of the stats if you want. And as always, I'm out. Peace.